Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is what is starting in New York and what could possibly be a trickle effect or a domino effect and trickle out to other states uh, all because of a big mouth and who wants everyone to follow his lead. <laughs> so the next phase of a forced transition into green living, okay, involves everyday folks to ha or having uh, access to meat and dairy, right? And because I mean, <laughs> why the heck not you know I mean what's next you know what 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 else are they could they possibly want to take away <laughs> you know what I mean you will abide by a plant-based diet at all times or else was the message that was bellowing out of the big mouth of New York City Mayor Eric Adams right just this week as he told city residents that they have until the year 2030 to cut out meat and dairy in order to meet the Big Apple's new emissions goals. Excuse me? Yeah, I think not, sir. Okay, you... Okay, I have said this before and I'll say it again. The day you start paying my bills and putting food on my table and clothes on my family's backs is the day you can tell me what to feed me and mine. Okay? Until then, zip it. All right? So since Adams, he abides by his own plant-based centered life. He feels as though all New Yorkers and people everywhere need to do the same. No, thank you. No. Experts have said that Adams and his chilling message that they're coming for your food, referring to the globalist plot to deprive the peons of meat and dairy. Really now, I'd like to see you try it. I really would. Yeah, come on over. Yeah, come on over. So these globalists themselves, of course, will continue gorging on filet mignon and caviar, while the rest of us is forced to eat crickets and cockroaches and all things soy. <laughs> Not in this house, at my dinner table. So first they came for our energy, then our gas-powered cars, our freedom of movement, our cheap plane tickets. Now they're coming for our food. Oh, goody. Yeah. So Adams revealed during his speech that many other mayors from cities around the world are joining him in seeking to reduce their respective cities' food emissions by one-third over the next seven years. And they're also challenging our private sector partners to join by cutting their food emissions by 25% in the same time period. Which mayors? I want names. I do. Yeah. So get ready for this shite show because they are coming for our food. I will not give up my steak, my chicken, my pork chops. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. My Italian sausage, uh, my meatballs. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. I did not get this Italian figure, this hourglass figure, by depriving it. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fear less and eat more meat. Ciao.